the Tubataha reefs emerge like crown jewels from the depths of the Sulu Sea. Divers from all over the globe delight in the brilliantly colored corals and fishes. Dolphins, rays, and sharks shimmer silver in the bright sun. Jutting out of the emerald blue waters are two islets providing refuge and home to thousands of birds. Some may no longer be found anywhere else in the world. In the palm of the South Islet is an old lighthouse built to aid mariners on their journey. Two ships, which failed to avoid the passive dangers of these offshore reefs, now form part of the seascape and provide anchorage for birds and sea creatures. Tubataha lies in the central of coral and fish diversity of the world. Its two uninhabited coral atolls separated by an 8-kilometer channel and surrounding waters make up the 33,200 hectare Tubataha Reef National Marine Park and World Heritage Site. The isolation of Tubataha did not completely liberate it from the exploits of men. Several portions of the reefs tell stories of active destruction inflicted by dynamite and cyanide fishers, starting in the late 80s and continuing into the 90s. This was done by Filipino fishers driven by poverty. More threatening, however, are poachers from neighboring Asian countries, driven by the lucrative trade in live food fish, medicinal and ornamental products from marine wildlife. They plunder the reefs of Tubataha and other equally significant reefs in the Sulu Sea mercilessly. Corals turned into rubble smear the natural formation of the reefs and diminish their biological contribution of enriching fisheries even beyond the boundaries of Tubataha. It takes several decades for corals to grow. It will take persistent protection to ensure that they bounce back to life. Tubataha was declared as a national marine park in 1988 and was inscribed in the World Heritage List in 1993. In 1999, it was inscribed in the Ramsar List of Wetlands of International Importance. These recognitions have enabled Tubataha to receive attention and support from local and international organizations. Beginning in 2000, the diving community contributed to its protection through the payment and collection of conservation fees. Collections now partially fund the management of the park. More significantly, dive operators have become important agents in spreading information on the significance of the park and the need to safeguard its natural wonders by briefing their guests on park rules and ensuring that these are observed. Patrols are conducted by a composite team of marine park rangers from the Philippine Navy, Philippine Coast Guard and deputized civilians hired by the Tubataha Protected Area Management Board. Ecosystem research and monitoring are undertaken to provide basis for park regulations, management policies and actions. About 60 nautical miles away to the northeast is the town of Cagayancillo, under which political jurisdiction to Bataha belongs. Its people, known as the Cagayanin, take pride in their role in the achievement of global and national conservation goals by foregoing fishing access to the park. Inspired by the increase in fish and coral populations in Tubataha, they established their own marine reserves and bird sanctuary. The town's annual share in conservation fee collections is used to fund community projects aimed at sustaining the use of their own natural resources. User education efforts have increased compliance with park regulations. More tourists appreciate Tubataha not just as a dive site but as part of that great web that sustains life on Earth. Despite the limitations, conditions in Tubataha remain stable. To date, the corals identified in the reefs, representing almost 90% of all coral species in the Philippines, continue to thrive. 
Here, fish abounds like in no other reefs in the country. The conservation of Tubataha, an offshore reef, is a complex pursuit. The limitations posed by distance and cost affect management effectiveness. More partners are needed to lighten up the load. Along with the privilege of enjoying the wonders of Tubataha is the obligation to safeguard it. Here are some ways that you can help. Strictly observe park rules and regulations and convince others to do the same. Patronize only dive operators who adhere to park regulations, adopt good environmental practice, and support conservation. Learn more about the marine environment and the park management initiatives for the park. Support fundraising activities by purchasing Tubataha items for gifts or personal use and by making contributions in whatever form. Forward any comments and suggestions to the Tubataha Management Office through your dive operator. Your thoughts might provide the answer we are looking for. Welcome to Tubataha. Have a safe and wonderful journey.